How do Lucy let be? So let's address the not attending court to hear final sentencing first. So in my time as a prison officer, uh, on way lesser sentences, why someone on a lesser sentence, or looking at a lesser sentence, should be required to tend, i.e. forced, restrained, and someone facing serious charges can't be forced to attend, I don't know, but yet, yeah, involved in quite a few incidents, literally dragging prisoners out of bed, restraining them onto a bus, to court, and then when they've got to court, they're in the cells downstairs, and the judges left them there. It would have been, restrain them again into the courtroom. So people are upset, Lucy Letby, not facing the sentencing, you know. People want that moment, they want to see her, they want to see the anguish and everything else. Put people through absolute misery. Uh, picks on the most vulnerable in society. And she she should be made to, to stand in front of them. Won't require much in a change in law, and I agree it should happen. We had prisoners who were looking at serious time who again refused, there's lots of them. What will happen to Lucy Letby in prison? Lasses prisons are very different to lads prisons. Um, she will be on an ACT document, that's an acronym, Assessment, Care in Custody and Teamwork, Suicide and Self-Harm document, quite definitely. Um, she might well be on a constant watch now. Constant watch is, is what he says, someone there, 24 hours a day watching you. Very little privacy. Um, people who are high risk of harming themselves or taking their own life. Lots of prisoners, lads, Receiving big sentences were put on act documents, yeah? They not necessarily need to be on them. Prisons don't take the risks. The prison service doesn't take risks. If she's not on a constant watch, she will be on an intermittent watch. Intermittent is, well, you can vary the frequency, but where I worked, it used to be five times an hour. So you will be checking on someone five times an hour and recording that. That includes during the night. During the night, observations, uh, some governors used to <laughs> lose the ship. People have put appears asleep, which don't really tell you anything, does it? You know, next day, the dead appears asleep. Yeah, they were dead. No, me, movement. Somebody turns over, I will watch for a couple of minutes. I would write that down, turned over. An RC governor once said to me, what's that mean, turned over? I said, it's literally what it says. He says, well, it doesn't tell me much. I says, really, it tells me they're alive. Yeah? Some tosses about. What will happen to in prison? Like I say, Lassa's prison is a lot different. She might be in solitary uh, for a period of time. It depends. Will she get battered? Again, Lasser's prisons are a lot different. Um, be a lot of mothers in prison. So if she was in the right place, which she won't be for a while, I suspect, like normal location, then someone might well have a pop. Will she go to a psych ward? You know, a high security hospital, Ashworth, Broadmoor, Rampton. Our three high security hospitals. Quite possibly. You know, psychiatrists, psychologists love to grab older people like this. Those of you of a certain age remember Beverly Allett, another angel of death, a nurse, killed young infants. I think she got charged with 13 deaths, 13 life sentences. A very, very good friend of mine, just retired. 40 odd years in mental health was at Rampton when Beverly Allett arrived clearly unwell that lass however mental health is no excuse for bad behaviour a very good friend of his nursed Beverly Allett clearly unwell 
makes you wonder how many people out there are like Letby and Allett in jobs, you know, where they're dealing with vulnerable people. Definitely not wired right. Something going on there. So yeah, mental health hospitals again. If she arrived on a psych ward, no one's gonna give a toss who she is. It is a hospital, lots of people there unwell. They just tend to get on with things. Prison, different matter. And what about a sentencing? What should she get? No questions, whole of life. Whole of life means whole of life. There are criteria, she meets all the criteria. Yeah, if a judge doesn't give a whole of life, I'd want to know why. There's only a handful of women, females who've been sentenced before that have received whole of life. Myra Hindley, you know, with Ian Brady killing young kids. Oof, I always forget her name, was it Joanna Dehaney? Murdered three fellas, dumped them in a ditch at Peterborough. And Rose West, Rose West along with her husband, Cromwell Street, you know, uh, sexually abusing kids and killing them. Whole of life sentence. Should she receive one? Quite definitely for me. Um, my feelings on her attending court, bang to rights. She refuses to attend, drag her there. Obviously have procedures, but you know what I mean. Get hold of her, get hands on her, put on a bus, and if you have to restrain her in the dock, that's what you do. You put them in front of their, well, in front of their peers, in front of the, the parents, families, friends of those infants she's killed. Again, you know, I have no compassion for somebody like that. However, I've got to feel for her parents. You know, when they have their baby, bringing it up, all that, all the things you go through. Yeah, probably never expected that. Devastated. Devastating for a lot of people. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Uh, longer content tomorrow. Out and about next week, interviewing. Gonna do a walk and talk, those who are new to the channel. Round strange ways, those that have been a while. In fact, I've got a couple planned. Midnight at Strangeways, the prison I used to work. <laughs> we'll take a look at the area around there, what it's like, and obviously have chats with lads I used to lock up and have been locked up in there, point out a few places to you on our, our walk around the walls. Thanks to everyone who supported the channel, people who support John, people who bought me a brew, guests, as always, past, present and future, and everyone who comments, you know, likes whatever um really appreciated fantastic community of support for me and other people bless all of you that are struggling with mental health thanks for coming beautiful morning i'll see there